Hello everyone and welcome to another YouTube video. I am Hype the Commentator and thank you all for joining me today as we look back at WrestleMania 26 where the Celtic warrior Seamus the Young up and comer at the time looks to make his mark in WWE on the game. Triple H, the 13 time world champion. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. All right, here we go. The bell has rung. This match is underway. It is the game. Triple H versus the Celtic Warrior, the up, up and comer, and Sheamus as they lock up collar and elbow. Sheamus wanting to make a big statement since joining WWE, since becoming a member of Monday Night Raw. Quite the words from Seamus to Triple H. And telling the game that he is the future of the WWE. And the assassin, the, the cerebral assassin, the game, the 13-time world champion with a thunder slap to Seamus. One for a clothesline, but this is where Triple H is in his element. He has the experience. He's the veteran of the match. So he's now playing some mind games. Oh, looking for that pedigree. Sheamus very quick gets out of harm's way. Almost got caught with that pedigree. You can see the shocked look on Sheamus' face. He's like, he's like, oh, wow. He didn't realize he wasn't expecting that. You don't want to underestimate Triple H just because they're, you're the eager, young, up-and-comer. You can't forget that Triple H paved this way for guys like Sheamus. And now they're going to lock up Colin Elbow. Sheamus with a knee to the midsection of the game. Triple H. The game in the corner. Now Sheamus with a clubbing blow to Triple H. And Triple H has the experience. And Sheamus is going to find this out. One way or another. And a suplex to the Celtic Warrior. Homage to his uh, days in DX. And a huge knee one. Only enough for the one count. Sheamus Smart rolls to the outside of the ring. What a veteran maneuver for someone who's a young and up-and-comer. But Triple H not wasting any time. Goes after Sheamus. Sheamus wasted too much time not being focused. Triple H taking advantage of where Sheamus had his attention on. And Triple H shot blocked to the back of the knee of Sheamus. There's a reason they call Triple H the assassin. The cerebral assassin. He knows when to take out his opponents, when and where. And here we go, paying homage to Ric Flair with that figure four leg lock. One of Triple H's mentors. They were in evolution together. And I look at the face of Sheamus, who was writhing in pain as he was holding on to that rope, waiting for the ref to finally force that rope break as Triple H knows he had to the count of five, but he wanted to use every single second of that four count up until... Right before he would have been disqualified. But Sheamus sends Triple H right in those steel steps. And just like that, the Celtic Warrior turns things around. Sheamus rolling back in the ring. You can see there's a little bit of damage that's already been done to Sheamus. Sheamus already having a little bit of a hard time moving. But Triple H has not moved at all. It seems he's now, here we go. Now the game is starting to move just a little bit after colliding with those steel steps. But Sheamus goes right after the game. You don't want to waste any more time. And Sheamus like, oh, I'm not going to just wait in the ring for the cerebral assassin, Triple H, to get back up. He wants to take control, take action. What an elbow right to the face of the game, Triple H. And Sheamus is in control. Triple H is not at all where he wants to be. But the game fights back with a clubbing right. And an Irish curse backbreaker from the Celtic Warrior. And Triple H writhing in pain. Now Triple H on the receiving end of the fight. Triple H. About to get caught with a second one and a second Irish curse backbreaker. This is smart from Sheamus. Sheamus. Going after that back of Triple H, it's going to make it harder for Triple H to pick up Sheamus for that double A spine buster and that pedigree. This is smart from somebody so young, so new to professional wrestling and sports entertainment. 
driving those knees right in the face of Triple H as he drives that knee, forcing it into the face of Triple H in the corner. And again, now stomping away on the veteran in the corner, the 13-time world champion. And now Sheamus has shown just how powerful he is, just how wise he truly is for somebody in their first year in WWE, defeating John Cena for the WWE Championship last year. In his rookie year, Sheamus has has had quite a rookie year. And now Sheamus looking to add even more to his even more to his resume as he looks to take out the game, the 13-time world champion, but a double axe handle from Sheamus takes Triple H off his feet, goes for the cover, one, two, Triple H kicks out. Triple H was in trouble, but Triple H is still in this one, and Sheamus thought that one was all over, but what do you have to do if you're Sheamus? Sheamus has so far shown that he's got strategy, but Triple H has the experience. Triple H is willing to go the distance. From what we've seen over the years when it comes to pick when it comes to picking his big matches, when it comes to accepting these big fights and pushing through one, two. Sheamus is the one who challenged Triple H this. He wanted to make his name, make a name for himself, and Triple H able to kick out at two. Now Sheamus driving the knee into the back as he has a chin lock on the cerebral assassin. The game has ha has quite the resume when it comes to WrestleMania matches. And Triple H gets caught. Gets caught. Sheamus. Power slam. Running power slam. Goes with the cover. One, two. Kick out at two. The game's still in this one. He's not going to give up just yet. He's got some fight left in him. But now Sheamus going after that shoulder of Triple H. This is smart. Sheamus working on that back and shoulder. This is smart. Sheamus has been controlling the pace for the majority of this match. And Sheamus looking to put Triple H out for good. Now switching holds and that headlock as Triple H seems to be fading away. This is not at all where Triple H wants to be. He's now down to one knee as he slowly fades away. The life being sucked out of the game. But the game picks gets back up. And a backdrop suplex to Sheamus. And Triple H has some fight left in him. There is fight left in the game. The game is not over, but the game continues. And Sheamus holds on to the back. And that backdrop suplex. Boot Sheamus. Boot to the face of Sheamus who went towards Triple H. And now again in the corner. Triple H breaking free out of the corner. But gets caught by Sheamus. Jumps up and over. Snap DDT. Sheamus sent head first into the, into the mat. Much needed separation from the game. Triple H buys himself some time to recover a little bit here. And now the game is starting to feel it. But Sheamus with a huge right. Now these two trading blows in the center of the ring. It's about who wants it more. Who has more drive. Who has the fight. Now Triple H unloading on Sheamus. Oh, but Sheamus with a boot right to the bridge of the nose of the game. But the game with a, ri a rising knee to Sheamus. And here we go. Triple H picking up the pace. And the knee drop. Face first. One, two. No, but Sheamus kicks out at two. And now this is where Triple H's game really picks up. This is where we see... The game in full effect. Pedigree, 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 pedigree. No, but Sheamus. Sheamus countered. Triple H sent Sheamus into the turnbuckles. And now, neck breaker from the Cerebral Assassin. Goes to the cover. One, two. No, only enough for a two. And Sheamus kicks out of two. Is Sheamus going to be able to get back up? How much does Sheamus left now that Triple H has turned things around into his favor? Triple H propping up Sheamus up at the top. And now Triple H meets Sheamus up at the top with his clubbing blows, trying to weaken Sheamus, but Sheamus ducks under. Sheamus clubbing blows to the back. Oh, my. No, 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 this is it. This is going to put Triple H away, but Triple H lands on his feet. 
Oh, Sheamus went for a bro kick. Triple H ducked. Pedigree, pedigree time. Here we go. But Sheamus back body drop countered from Sheamus. Bro kick. That's it. One, two. Oh, put the game still in it. He's not done yet. Triple H able to kick out of the big bro kick from Sheamus. Sheamus thought he had it. It's WrestleMania. It's the grandest age of them all. And Triple H still has flight left. You saw the look of disbelief in Sheamus' face. What do you have to do now if you're the Celtic Warrior? He's only been in the WWE for a year. And now Sheamus showing anger, turning that worry into anger, refocusing his energy to take out the game with his Celtic cross to put the game away, but the game fights free. And double A spine buster to the Celtic where it looks the leg. One, two. Oh, but Sheamus kicks out. Near fall for the game as he looks to pick up the victory against Sheamus. But Sheamus fighting with everything he's got. He wants to show that he can hang with a 13-time world champion, that he is the future of the WWE. Sheamus and Triple H giving it everything they've got. What a war it has been between the up-and-comer and the veteran. Sheamus leaning against the rope on the outside on the ring apron. Triple H pulling up Sheamus. Sheamus with a clubbing right. Bro kick to the side of the head of Triple H. Right to the temple. Sheamus could be closing on the victory, but Sheamus just collapses. Sheamus not able to capitalize. Triple H rolls away as far as he can away from Sheamus. And but Triple H is out. Triple H hasn't moved. And now what comes next? Triple H going to be put away by the Celtic Warrior Sheamus who's trying to pull up the lifeless body of the game. Triple H looks like he's out. Oh, oh, playing possum. Playing possum pedigree. From out of nowhere, Triple H. One, two, three. And the game pulls out the victory. What a victory. In the end, a pedigree out of nowhere from the 13-time world champion Triple H allows him to pick up the victory over, she over Sheamus here at WrestleMania 26. All right, everyone, and that was the game. Triple H versus the Celtic Warrior Sheamus out of WrestleMania 26. In the end, it would be a pedigree out of nowhere. Just when Sheamus thought he had it won, Triple H had one more trick left in the bag. In the end, Triple H leaves WrestleMania 26 with a victory. And with that being said, don't forget, follow me on all my socials at Hype the Commentator on Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, right here on YouTube, and Hype Commentator on X. Thank you all for tuning in to today's video, and I will see you all in the next one.